Hi, Hi Lion Gang Gang. gang. <laughs> we are back with another video. Yes, we are back. We are back. And today we're going to be talking about being married to a different culture. Yes, being married to someone from oh, a different culture. Or marrying a different culture as a man. So, I'm a vendor. And I'm Tswana. Yes. My name is <laughs> yes so we're gonna be talking about the differences there what is it is it the differences yes the differences well things we found different in the culture yes is it making it difficult for us to be together and be happy or what or is it in tears <laughs> is it in tears Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, are we having complications that is making it difficult for us to work this thing out? To, no, not, not even to work this thing out, to, you know, to build a family just because I'm a vendor guy and she's a Tswana girl, a woman. Mm. You know? Tswana lady. A Tswana lady. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, okay, who's starting? Am I starting? You can start. Okay, let's, first thing is going to be lower negotiation. Sometimes it can be difficult uh, to, you know, to do negotiations when uh, the couple is a different, is from different cultures. But to us, it wasn't difficult because to us, there was a letter, the letter was sent and then they communicated via emails, you know, oh. technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smudge a like my mom would say. Um, and uh, they, 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 my family came to your family mm -hmm. and they negotiated of course they were there were other you know things there was a clash in language here and there but they so they had to use english there was some english in there but likely because his my family, family knows, knows the, 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 the western so to the jurex language so to language yes so they were able to communicate yes, yes. and my brother knows obviously yeah. the, every language probably because <laughs> i mean as vendors we're good with this language yes. thing so yeah there, there, there wasn't any complications but uh, it can be complicated and i'm glad that it wasn't they and we thank god, and we thank god. Uh, they, they 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 communicated they negotiated and the price was set. they they said they told my family the price the bride price the bride price mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's almost the same when it comes to negotiations. I don't know about any other people, uh, because yes, they were, they were, they were, they were increasing the money and I'm like, yo, my brother is the one who went outside. I think he mm -hmm. phoned me and he said, Damon, these guys, <laughs> this, this family is talking about this certain amount of money. And I was like, okay, but yo. Okay, can't you at least cut it down a little bit, man? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, it, it was it, man. I mean, it went, it went well, and we didn't have any complications when it comes to Lobola. So, being a vendor and being a Tswana, you being a Tswana, it doesn't... They were very civil. Yeah, they were very civil. Yeah. Yes. What's the next? Very smooth. Okay, one thing I found difficult, but I'm really warming up to it. I'm now okay with it actually. It's the greeting. Mm -hmm. Ah, but, what, what, what? but you know how we women have to greet, especially if it's uh Makazi and the uncles and the grandfathers and yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was sometimes I didn't know when to do it or do I just do it to for to everyone or what is happening. Yes. But but I'm learning and then I'm just happy that whenever I forget because they just remind me Hore And then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. Miguel Did you so, like yeah. the do you like that? Do you hate that? In the beginning it was hard. I think if oh, it was hard, not, but you, yeah. you don't hate it. I don't hate it. Oh, okay. In the beginning, it was hard. I think it's it, it's hard if you are not raised like that. 
or it or it's, it, or it's hard or it's hard when you don't like it because some women i've heard they say no why should i go down and i'm like but we don't ugh, come on it's a it's form not, of respect respect and it's not like we i don't know like why do you even have a problem like come on it's like starting also, to complicate things uh as you can't just say to me Yes. Yeah, that's what I've learned also. Yes. So it's just a form of respect that is a bit extreme. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it's it's fine. Yes. So the next one is the language. The language. Mm, I okay, I it's not so difficult for me. Uh, I think because uh, even before I met him, I was already introduced to the language. Yes. So I could hear it even though, well, obviously some words I couldn't hear, but I could already add one plus one and make up a sentence. Unless if they're not speaking to me, they're speaking there, then I couldn't really catch exactly what was being said. Yes. But no, it wasn't that difficult for me. Yeah, plus you are learning there and there, but you should speak Venda more with me. Not only with the child, but yeah. I think it's because when we started dating, you would speak with me, Mogus Zwana. So because you were speaking Zwana with me, now it's 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 a huge transition to yeah. now start speaking yeah. in Venda. Because yeah. with everyone else, I speak Venda. And then it's like with your sister, because she used to speak with me in English. My now, cards. Now, every time it's like English. Mm, mm. It's it's like a huge trend. but now I've noticed that she always speaks in Venda with yes. me, which which I like because it means I will continue to learn and learn and learn, and soon enough I'll be very fluent. Yeah, for for yeah. For, for for us Venda, are you done? Mm. For us Vendas, I mean, it's not difficult. Uh, when I first moved to Rustenburg Northwest, I didn't know Zwana at all, but mm. I learned very quick quickly. I think I knew only ten percent. I only knew Sutu properly because one of my friends is Sutu and we went to school together in Pretoria. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but in other languages, I mean, obviously, you know, as vendors, I know I can speak, I think, except, okay, even Africans, I can, but nah. I think, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, um, <laughs> I can spread Africans. <laughs> What? Egg Prat Africa. Oh, Egg Prat Norman. Okay. okay. I'm going to be honest. I know 5% of Africans. <laughs> you know, and I can I can hear them when they talk. So, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, Zulu. I, I know Zulu, Tosa, Sipedi, Susutu, Swana, Siswati, a little bit. Mm. And what else? In English, stronger. Vendor. And Venda. So I know 10 languages. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect in all. I mean, the ones that I'm not too good uh, with is Tosa and what else? Yes, Swati. Mm. Uh, Zulu, I'm, I'm struggling a bit now because I've been in Northwest for a bit long, you know. But, yeah. Okay, the next one is what? Dress code. The dress code. For me... No, I'm home, guys. Like, <laughs> I can wear jeans. I can. I don't need to rock a duke. The way I am now, mm. I go home. Like, so, so for me, it, it's not a problem. But obviously, I can't rock up in like mini skirts and shorts and whatnot mm. because, like, yeah. So it means I must tell my mom to. F to change some things ah, there. Ah, she won't. She even said that <laughs> times are different now. It's not like during daytime, but obviously I cannot dress like... Yeah, my mom is like very I'm, civilized. I'm, I'm a child in my, the house because you have your brothers. He, he has his older brothers and whatnot. Yeah. But... So you're not going to dress like we are in the beach. We see me. I mean, the only places where I will let you dress like that is when we're walking down the beach or... Oh, in Sun City, you know. In, yeah. Or maybe when we go there's out together. You know, there's a time everything. and place for everything. Like, I don't mind her dressing even in now, a certain way. Even besides being in Benda, like, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with, yes. like, showing just anything and everything. Yes, yes. So, okay. yeah. So, the next thing is strictness in Venda culture. 
you know, then the men are hard work. My man is a sweetheart, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, the one thing I know is respect. Mm. Like, if you can just respect him, he is good. Like, this thing of no, I know, vendor, they don't wash dishes, they don't, no, we, we help each other, we, we work together. Yeah. We are a team. We, no, we are a team. Like, the, 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 the are you done? Mm. The the vendor men the people always say vendor men are strict. They want to be like they they you have to bring them water and whatnot. The thing about us I is I do bring him water to wash his to hands. wash yes. The thing about but, us is we want to be respected because because we want to give respect. I don't want to give respect to someone who doesn't respect me. I will do that you know for a couple of times. But if I see that you're not doing anything about respect uh, about respecting me, you know, mm -hmm. giving respect back to me, why should I bother? And it's not even gonna work out. Like to me, respect I think is everything. I I think even generally with vendor culture, respect is everything. Yes. Even a small child, you respect. You yes, you respect. Just... You can't just. So the thing is, when you, when we say respect us, we don't say no respect us and then we treat you like crap. No, we give respect back to you, right back to you. You know, even when you don't show it, we can show you how how, how maybe how should I say it? put this principle of of relationship or what. We, there's a certain respect we need to give each other. Yeah. Yes. What's next is um, it's one a woman. They say it's one a woman don't have respect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They actually say it's one a woman. Are, it's one a woman are bad. Mm. You know, some people, not all. I mean, you know. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but, but I, 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 there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of people who say ah it's one of this one other like some of the people will tell you yo not all, like in vendor they will say atomara mutswana mukada atomara mutswana atomara mukada oh what I mean <laughs> like like saying I'm saying saying, the saying the how can mukada. how can how can he take mutswana out of all like <laughs> there's so many vendor women why. So I don't, it's not about that. I mean, it's a, it's about me meeting someone I love. You know, it's not yeah. even about the culture. And obviously, like I used to be, like I used to think like that. But that's that was before I knew the culture. So I think maybe people are misinformed. And also, with every culture, there's good and yes, bad. Yes, in so. every culture, there's good and bad. Good and bad girls. There's. Bad girls and good girls in vendor people, in in Tuana people. It's all about how you're raised you know, and how you yes, just to you know, live your life. and 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 sometimes you can have bad lucks and meet and bump into a bad one when you are a vendor and bumped into a vendor bad vendor girl. I mean, I faced that before, and yo, it was bad. So I was like, yo, hey, U-turn. <laughs> no, it wasn't a U-turn, but I was like, okay, let me let me just. <laughs> <laughs> run away <laughs> so yeah, i had to run and then and then i met her and at first i asked myself what am i because i was even concerned about what my parents are gonna say this is real i'm not even gonna lie about this or maybe try to uh what is this run away from sugarcoated, sh sugarcoated yes <laughs> yeah <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> so it's real the parents the, the some parents don't accept it but my mother surprised me i was like what mm. she she was happy and she loves her a lot so yes what's life what's the last thing raising a child the okay i one thing i was worried about was the language that he would speak Yes. Uh, for instance, I don't want him to only speak English. As much as we do speak English to him, and maybe in school they speak English and whatnot, but I didn't want him to only speak English. And also, my worry was that, okay, if you're going to introduce all these three languages to him, won't he struggle to speak? But we are still dealing with it. Because now, okay, because I'm also learning... I speak vendor with him. 
Mm. And even fun. though I'm always laughing at the background, I mean, <laughs> on the side, <laughs> listening to the things that she was speak, saying. I can speak, Ben. That it's just the accent. Yeah. Accent. <laughs> accent. I is hitting me, but yes. soon enough, we will, we will, we will get there. We will get there. Yes. But I'm more comfortable speaking with him in Benda because sometimes you feel like other people will judge you. Okay? And then with him, he's my son. Man. But I won't judge you. Even if I no, judge... No, not you. Mm. Not you because we have to do a video where I'm only speaking Benda. Yes. <laughs> I think this next video if, that we're if, doing... If, if ever we get... How many likes? If we ever get... 100 likes. 100 likes. Or should I say, yeah. 100 likes. Is it, is likes. it too much? No. Are we 100, asking too much? No, you're not asking too much. <laughs> if you get 100 likes on this video, we'll do a video where I'm only speaking Benda. Tswana woman. Tswana woman speaking Benda. Okay. <laughs> I think that is all, ne? Yeah. We don't want this video to be too long. Too long. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes. And comment down below. Yes, and uh, thank you guys. We thank you for those who have already subscribed. Yes. We really, really do appreciate it. And bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Is it off? Yeah.